गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट इन अवर प्रीवियस पीरियड वी कंप्लीटेड अप टू वर्किंग विद द टेक्स गोपाल एंड द हिलसा फिश फ्रॉम यूनिट थ्री सो नाउ मूविंग ऑन फर्दर वर्किंग विद लैंग्वेज नोट इज हाव इन अ कॉमिक बुक देर आर नो speech marks when characters talk instead what they say is put in speech bubble however if we wish to repeat or report what they say we must put it into reported speech change the following sentence in the story to reported speech the first one has been done for you so some sentences are given we have to change it in reported speech in the next page one how much did you pay for that hilsa the woman asked the man how much had paid for that hilsa in this way we have to do given sentences we have to write down change the sentences in the story to reported speech second why is your face half shaven Gopal's wife asked him why his face was half shaven. Three, I accept the challenge, Your Majesty. Gopal told the king that he <coughs> accepted his challenge. Then after. I want to see the king Gopal told the guards that he wanted to see the king fi bring the man to me at once the king ordered the guard to bring the man to him at once then after find out the meaning of the following words by making them up in the dictionary then use them in sentences of your own so we have to find out the meaning and then we have to make sentence from that given word challenge ask to contest or dare sentence the boss challenged rahul to finish his work before the time to mistake believing in spiritual power sentence some people do believe in the mystic forces then comical meaning funny sentence i liked the comical act of the joker the most then after courtier meaning officials of the king's court sentence birbal was one of the clever courtier present in akbar's court then smearing meaning to apply coat or mark sentence he smears his face with ashes now with the picture some text are given below look at the pictures and read the text aloud stack 
by the side of a pond. See the picture of stag. It's the name of an animal. How beautiful my horns are. And that animal looked inside the water and then in the water, the shadow of their own. Then that animal said, how beautiful my horns are, but my legs are so thin and ugly. Hunters, run for your life. So then the suddenly hunters came, let me hide somewhere these branches, oh no, they are too close, get out of here. I was proud of my horns, they could have caused my death, I was ashamed of my legs, they saved me. So as that animal hide himself but because of their horns it's big in size not able to hide behind the branches so the animal then realizes that I was proud of my horns but they could have caused my death I was ashamed. I don't like my legs. They saved me. So from that text what we learn that each and every part of our body is beautiful and it's useful. Every part is used accordingly in their own way. So never thought about, never think like this that it's not good or I don't like this in this way. Then after in the next page 2, now ask your partner questions about each picture. So some questions are given related to that pictures. 1. Where is the stack? Answer is, stag is by the side of the pond. Then, question 2, what is he doing? Answer, he is looking at the reflection of his horns and legs in the water. Then, answer 3, yes. A question 3. Does he like his antlers, horns, antlers means horns? Answer 3. Yes, he liked his antlers. Question 4. Does he like his legs? Answer 4. No, he didn't like his legs. Then question 5. Why is the stag running? Answer. The stag is running to save his life from the hunters. Question 6. He, is he able to hide in the bushes? Answer. No. He is not able to hide himself in the bushes. Then after, where are the hunters now? Question 7 is, where are the hunters now? Answer, the hunters are now beside to him. Question 8. Are they closing in on the stack? Answer 8. Yes, they closing in on the stack. Question 9. Is the stack free? Answer 9. Yes, the stack is free. Question 
टेन क्वेश्चन टेन वॉट डज द स्टैग से अबाउट हिज ऑन्स एंड लैक्स आंसर इज द स्टैग सेट दैट ही वॉज प्राउड ऑफ हिज ऑन्स विच कुड हैव कॉस्ड हिज डेथ एंड वॉज अ शेम्ड ऑफ हिज लैक्स विच सेव्ड हिम देन आफ्टर थ्री नाउ राइट द स्टोरी इन योर ओन वर्ड्स गिव इट ए title so we have to write down title and then after story in our own words so title i have written down side first of all title all that glitters is not gold now the story part a stag once drinking water at pond he said his own reflection in water he admired his beautiful horns out he did not like his thin and ugly legs suddenly he saw a group of hunters running towards him he ran into the jungle to save himself he's lag soon carried him far from the hunters so then try to hide himself in the bushes but his horns were caught into the bush with his best efforts he was able to free himself now he realized that his ugly legs helped him in saving his life but his beautiful horns could have caused his death now complete the following word ladder with the help of the clues given below so clues 1 mother will be very blank if you don't go to school so so downside some clues are given and with the help of this clues we have to complete the ladder given so one is mother will be very if you don't go to school cross two as soon as he caught of the teacher mohan started writing side 3 how do you like my kitchen garden big enough for you is it tiny then four my youngest sister is now a old year then five standing on the he saw children playing on the road roof six don't make such a nothing will happen first and seven don't cross dash till the green light comes on street so here cross it means in the first sentence that cross it means oppose opposition of something now textbook portion from poem the shed so in our textbook page 49 working with the poem answer the following questions question 1 who is the speaker in the poem answer 1 the speaker of the poem is a small kid or child then 2 is she he afraid or curious or bored answer 2 he 
or she was both curious and afraid the creaking noise of hinges at night and the feeling of someone staring at him her make the child feel afraid while the thought that the shed was his her brothers then makes him her curious then question 3 what is she or he planning to do soon answer she or he is planning to go inside the shed soon question 4 but not just yet suggested doubt fear hesitation laziness or something else choose the word which seems right to you tell others why you you choose it so answer 4 but not just yet suggest the hesitation of the poem about going inside that shed though he or she is comfort that there are no ghost inside but still he or she hesitates to slip to step inside step inside and and leaves the matter to be handled is near future gathering up more courage then after two is there a room in your house or a house in your neighborhood locality where you would rather not go alone and never at night if there is such a place and a story to go with it let others hear all about it so in this question we have to write down that if we having a room like in the poem the shed such type of room we also having in our home if yes or if we find such a room near to our neighborhood or locality where we were not go alone at night so we have to tell the thing in this question answer to this question is supposed to be then by the students themselves so answer is that that this question you have to be done by yourself however if requested for an answer to this question so write down this answer by yourself try just once at one time and i think that you people able to write down if you find such type of room shed as we read about in the poem then write down and if no then our answer is no okay so here textbook portion of gopal and the hilsa fish the shed of unit 3 it's complete i hope that now you clear with the textbook portion we will meet in the next video in this period up to this much so stay at your home stay safe do little bit study whatever we completed just revise once again we will meet in the next video thank you goodbye